Welcome back to another episode of Urban Crime Stories. In this episode, we will unravel the tragic story of Margaret Craig. What happens when a child's relationship with their parent, the relationship that's supposed to be a source of unconditional love and support, becomes a source of fear and danger? When that which is supposed to be a safe haven becomes a nightmarish hellscape? When the bonds of family break and the foundation of security shatters, what's left in its wake? These questions echoed in the minds of many as the unsettling story of Margaret Craig, a 71-year-old mother, met a tragic end on May 23, 2023, allegedly at the hands of her own daughter, Candace Craig. This distressing story takes an even darker turn with the reported involvement of her granddaughter, Salia Hardy, in the macabre efforts to dispose of her body. Yet, amid the grim details, a paramount question lingers in the minds of many. What impelled Candace Craig to commit such a heinous act against her own mother? Let's take a deeper dive. On a warm summer day, Friday, June 2, 2023, a worried neighbor made a call to the police concerned that their elderly neighbor, Margaret Craig, hadn't been seen in days. Margaret, a well-liked figure in the community, was known for her friendly demeanor and generous spirit. The police arrived at the home of Margaret's daughter, Candace, to investigate. As they approached the front door, they noticed a faint odor of smoke and a peculiar feeling of unease in the air. The events that followed would shock the entire neighborhood. Candace, Margaret's daughter, greeted them at the door and welcomed them inside. The officers' suspicions were immediately raised when they saw the condition of the house. Though there were no obvious signs of violence or destruction, something about the atmosphere felt off. The officers were determined to uncover the truth behind Margaret's disappearance. The officers were immediately struck by the noxious, pervasive odor that hung thick in the air, signaling the presence of something deeply ominous. This scent hinted at a reality far more disturbing and twisted than anything they could have conceived. Let's uncover the unsettling truth beneath the surface. The family is the foundation of our society, a place where we should feel safe and secure. But sometimes, it's the people closest to us who can hurt us the most. They know our vulnerabilities, and that knowledge can be dangerous. The thought of our loved ones betraying us is too much to bear, but it's a possibility we must be aware of. Two years prior to Margaret Craig's mysterious and puzzling disappearance on May 9, 2021, Candace shared a heartfelt message in honor of her mother, Margaret. On Mother's Day, she took to her Facebook wall to express the most important woman in her life. In her post, Candace conveyed warm wishes for an incredible and peaceful day, expressing her deep love with the words, Happy Mother's Day to the number one woman in my life. I hope you have an awesome and peaceful day. I don't get to say this every day, but I love you very much to the moon and back. I also want to wish every mother and mom like woman out there a happy Mother's Day. Amid the numerous comments that followed, Salia Hardy, Candace's daughter and Margaret's granddaughter, left a touching message. Happy Mother's Day, Grandma and Mommy. Little did anyone anticipate that two years hence, the seemingly close-knit and affectionate family would become the center of a horrific crime, revealing the dark secrets that can lurk beneath the surface. It was a tragic and shocking story, one that still haunts those who remember it. Upon their arrival, the police officers must have sensed an air of the macabre within the house, yet little in their training could have prepared them for the horrors awaiting them. A disconcerting odor, the unmistakable scent of death and decay, permeated from the house's basement, drawing them in without hesitation. The overpowering stench did not deter their entry, leading them to a gruesome tableau of blood and tissue strewn across the floor. Within the eerie confines of the basement, their investigation revealed a disturbing array of evidence, a trio of white plastic garbage bags, a discarded knife, and remnants of what appeared to be brain matter contained within one of the bags. The unsettling inventory did not end there. They uncovered a chilling assortment of items, including a chainsaw cover, cutting utensils, cleaning supplies, and a disconcerting profusion of blood splatters throughout the premises. The harrowing condition of the body spoke of a dark timeline, it was evident that the victim had not met her demise on that day or even the day preceding, but much earlier. The level of dismemberment exceeded all bounds of decency, necessitating DNA testing for identification. The results now apparent left no room for doubt. Ten days prior, June 2, 2023, Margaret Craig met a gruesome end within the very walls of her home, and her killer had been uncomfortably close. 
When detectives from Prince George's County investigated the case, they learned that Margaret Craig had died 10 days before the anonymous call was received from a neighbor. The prime suspect was her daughter, Candace Craig, who was accused of committing an unspeakable crime, taking her own mother's life on May 23, 2023, two years after the Facebook post that portrayed the family as so close. It was a horrific and unthinkable betrayal, one that no one could have predicted. Though little is publicly known about this family, it is clear that Candace, a grown woman, had spent her entire life living with her mother. Celia, Candace's daughter, and Margaret's granddaughter also lived with them for all 19 years of her life. From the outside, they seemed like a tight-knit family, but the reality was much darker. The true nature of their relationships was far from the image they portrayed on social media. Investigators are still working to uncover the motive for the heinous incident, as well as the murder weapon or cause of death. However, it is believed that Candace may have attacked her mother after she threatened to report Candace's alleged misuse of her credit card. It is speculated that Candace was in significant financial trouble and may have used her mother's card without permission. Following the tragic act, the 44-year-old went on to dismember her mother's body into numerous pieces and endeavored to dispose of them through fire, utilizing a makeshift grill and other homemade tools. The horrifying crime unfolded not only between a 71-year-old mother, Margaret, and her 44-year-old daughter, Candace, but also involved 19-year-old Salia Hardy, Candace's own daughter. Salia, a crucial witness to the tragic event, admitted to discovering her mother's gruesome act but shockingly chose not to report it. Instead, she not only kept the sinister act a secret, but actively participated in the desecration of her grandmother's body. Salia, in her deposition, revealed that she arrived at the house on May 24th, the day after her grandmother's death, and found her lifeless in a blue container in her bedroom. Without delay, Salia, accompanied by her mother, commenced the gruesome task of dismembering her grandmother's body using a chainsaw found in the basement. The remains were reduced to an unrecognizable mass of exposed flesh and blood. The duo then attempted to dispose of as much as they could by burning it on a grill in the backyard. This gruesome detail of the murder was corroborated by a neighbor who noticed a small fire in the Craig's family backyard on May 27, 2023, four days after Margaret's death. Presumably, the urgency to dispose of the remains escalated when the stench of the decomposing body became unbearable. The cause of Margaret's death remains a mystery due to the deplorable condition of her body. It is unclear whether she was stabbed, suffocated, or succumbed to a blow to the head, though suspicions linger. A particularly chilling aspect is the disappearance of a crucial piece of evidence found at the scene. Upon police arrival, the basement revealed the chainsaw, bags containing human remains and blood-splattered floors. A significant knife, initially present at the crime scene, vanished shortly after the police's arrival, presumably concealed by the sinister perpetrator. This knife could potentially bear the murderer's fingerprints or other incriminating evidence, possibly serving as the murder weapon. While the crime scene was laden with evidence, leaving little room for other suspects, Candace and her daughter Salia emerged as the primary culprits. The disturbing collaboration between mother and daughter unfolded in a tragedy that shocked the community and left an indelible mark on the investigation. In the legal aftermath, Candace Craig faced charges of first and second degree murder, while her daughter Salia was charged with aiding and abetting, conspiracy to conceal a corpse, and other related offenses. While this type of occurrence is rare, it is a sobering reminder that tragedy can strike anywhere and even within the safety of a home. It is heartbreaking to consider the last moments of Margaret Craig and to imagine the circumstances leading up to her death. Though the details of the tragedy are disturbing, they serve as a powerful reminder of the importance of community, connection, and support. It is clear that no one could have predicted what was happening behind closed doors, but that does not make the tragedy any less painful. Thank you for watching this episode of Urban Crime Stories. Be sure to subscribe to the channel for future updates on this case. If you enjoy our content, please leave a comment, like the video, and share it with your friends. We greatly appreciate your support. Stay safe, stay informed, and I'll see you next time with another episode of Urban Crime Stories.